Welcome back to Wicked Willow. Uh, yeah. So, last time, we got some backstory, because Tanya was good at talking, and... Yep, okay. Yeah, Tanya sure is something. But speaking of ordeals, when are we knocking over that bank? We're gonna be cat burglars. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Shadow. Yeah, real funny. I've had enough excitement for one day. How about tomorrow? It's a date. I guess I'll see you later. Where are you going? Oh, I've got a few movies I wanted to catch. It's real easy to sneak into a theater when you're a black cat, you know? You know, that is something I had never considered, but 100% makes sense. Right. Lydia? What are you doing here? You're not brave enough to try going vegan, are you? I wouldn't put it quite like that. But I must confess, this place isn't exactly my cup of tea. So I'm just here to post some flyers. For what? God Club or something? Oh, so you've heard of the original Ratchet's Word student group? O R W? Ah, beans. What are we getting ourselves into? Uh, no. I was just kidding. That's really what you're putting up flyers for? I think you came to the wrong place. What makes you say that? After we finish our prayer circle and Bible study, we're going to witness and distribute food to the homeless. That's something even a bleeding heart liberal like yourself should be interested in, right? I'd rather starve a free woman than be a slave with a full belly. Willow, I'm surprised at you. Why do you wear the symbol of our Lord and Savior if you're going to mock his word? Ugh, how many times do I have to explain this? I'm wearing it ironically. Don't you get it? Okay. Sure. That... Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> not really. But not to worry, Willow. I'll say some prayers on your behalf. Please don't. The only way to stop me is to come to the meeting and say your prayers yourself. I'll see you in hell first. Oh, angry are we? Did you know that's one of the seven deadly sins? No. Anger itself isn't. Wrath is, anger itself is not. Yes, I did. Isn't pride one of the others? Willow is actually right. <laughs> Well, I've got some more flyers to post. Until next time, Willow. Damn, what a long ass day. Well, nothing like home sweet. You're back late. Uh, you! How'd you even know where I live? I didn't, actually. All I had was this address. Didn't know I'd need an apartment number. So I took a little climb up the trees, checking out each room. Do you know how many people in this building change their clothes with the windows wide open? Oh, I've got to tell you, i got a much better show right here than I had at the theatre. Ugh, you're a little pervert. I didn't pry their windows open, did I? I made myself happy. And if anybody saw me, they just thought I was a curious cat. Ugh, whatever. Sure, okay. This is a thing that we are just going to move past and accept because I don't want to think about the ramifications of that. How'd you even know which room was mine? Are you serious? Who else's could this be? It looks like a hippie exploded in here. I can't help being born in the wrong decade. You think you were born in the wrong decade? Try being born in... What? All I'm saying is the 90s is a bloody golden age. <laughs> if that's true, we're in for a wild ride in the future. Speaking of wild rides in the future, are you ready for tomorrow? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Hey, Willow. Yes? Can't sleep, eh? Not if you keep trying to talk to me. <laughs> right, right, right. I'll try and keep things quiet. Good. Okay. You're not going to keep things quiet, though, are you, Cat? I just wanted to say that... I knew it wouldn't last long. Oh, shut it. For one lousy second, eh? I'm trying to say something nice here. 
I want to say thank you for adopting me as your pet and let me live with you. That, that didn't happen. I didn't say that. I know sometimes it's hard for you to find the words. <laughs> but either way, thanks. It really means a lot to me. You can't just thank me for something that's not happening. Do you only hear what you want to hear? What's that? I can stay with you rent free? Yes. And you're going to give me fresh milk every day? <sighs> oh, Willow, you're too kind. You really shouldn't. Cat, you're pushing it. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't. And I won't. The only milk in this place is soy milk. You want me to die of thirst over here? If it's the only way to get you to shut up. <laughs> How about you buy me whichever brand's the most expensive, you know, as a compromise? Ugh, whatever. And real milk on my birthday? Fine. Just let me sleep. And Christmas? What else are we going to leave out for St. Nick? You think he's going to dunk them cookies in soy? Yeah, actually, cookies and soy milk is pretty good because you can get one that's flavored with flavors. I mean, chocolate milk, yeah, but it's much easier to get vanilla soy milk than vanilla cow milk. So, depending on the type of cookies, yeah. <sighs> okay, okay. Christmas too. Sleepy time now. Sure, sure. Night, Willow. You're gonna keep talking to me, aren't you, cat? Hey, Willow. <sighs> what about Groundhog Day? If you don't shut up and let me sleep, right now, I swear to God, I'm using my magic to burn this apartment to the ground with both of us inside. Got it? Got it. We'll talk about Groundhog Day tomorrow. <sighs> Hello, would you like to help save the planet today? No? All right then. Uh, hello, would you like to help save the planet today? Already did that. Uh, I don't know how that's possible, but thanks for your enthusiasm. Uh, hello, would you like to... Oh, hey, Willow. Uh, which group's got you begging for money this time? The Environmental Lifeline Fund. And what do they do? Sadly, you're the first person to ask me that. It's about helping the rainforest. I planting trees? They're thinking a bit bigger. ELF is trying to fund lobbying efforts to get Congress to push for a ban on imports from companies whose clear-cutting policies destroy the sustainability of the Earth's ecosystems. Whoa, stop drilling! You already struck oil. That's an odd metaphor for being sold on an environmentalist <laughs> pitch, but I guess I'll take it. I... Uh... A plus. Want to help me canvas? Uh, I gotta get to the bank first. I'll go with you. I'll chop off the donations I've gotten so far today. Donations? What donations? <laughs> you donated to yourself, didn't you? Well, I didn't want to tell the group I went home empty-handed. Don't worry, your secret's safe. And save a pledge form for me. And after we hit the bank, I'll be sure to donate something too. Aw, uh, thanks. I just can't imagine what the world would be like without forests. They're such magical places. Yeah, Avery, who's working for Elf. Forests sure are magical, huh? Well, I mean, not literally, but it feels like that sometimes, right? I'm really enjoying this game, but uh, I'm worried that it's trying to be subtle in a few places and not succeeding. But I also worry that it's faking trying to be subtle and I'm being a sucker for every single time. Anyway. Tell me about it. This place doesn't seem so bad. Although, I don't know what a bad bank would look like. I mean, it's not like I expected to see a bunch of evil demons behind the counters. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Well, hi there. Welcome to- Oh, it's just you. Lydia? What are you doing here? I work here as a receptionist. Huh. I'm actually a bit surprised to see you in a place like this. Didn't Jesus run the money changers out of the temple? Oof. You've run-
read your Bible. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Ugh, whatever. I think the better question is, what are you doing here, Willow? Excuse me? I think we both know you aren't here to ask for a small business loan. As a socialist, you don't believe in money. Now isn't that right? Of course not. Do you even know what socialism is? <laughs> All I know is if it worked for the Russians, they'd have won the Cold War, right? Why don't you just go home right now? There's nothing here for someone like you. Hey, I have as much right to be here as anyone. Actually, you don't. This building doesn't allow pets. I am not a pet. Willow, shout that into her ear. Uh, actually, he's more like a, uh, an emotional support animal. Are you serious? <laughs> Shadow, listen, you don't get to be that picky. Either you're either blowing my cover and so should just leave, or you have to deal with whatever dumb thing I come up with. Still haven't answered my question, Willow. Why are you here? Because this bank is evil. You care so much for the homeless, Lydia. Well, this place is plotting to make people lose their homes. What are you talking about? Just finished dropping off my five dollars. <laughs> Lydia, hi. Nice to see you. If only Willow felt that way. Your friend was just explaining her theory that this proud financial institution is secretly evil. I'm telling you, this company that you work for is nothing but robber barons. Willow, you're letting your imagination run wild. I'm asking you to leave. Fine. If you want to let the thieves rob the common people, then by all means, be my guest. Willow, you're right, but you could use, like, 8% more subtlety, I think. Avery, let's... Um, Everyone get down on the ground, now! We're robbing this place! I don't like that. No, I move! A blondie here gets a brains blown out! Don't do that. Uh, I mean, I already don't like her, but at the same time, don't Some do that. you've got, eh, Willow? Calling the bank a bunch of robbers? Then the real bank robbers show up! It is pretty ironic. Wait a minute. Oh my god. What if that wasn't just a coincidence? Did my powers accidentally bring these people here? Willow, fireball time over here. If I try to use magic to fix things, and it goes bad again, it could get even worse. What if I don't do anything, and somebody gets hurt when I have the power to stop it? Oh no. Quick, save. <laughs> Just in case I regret this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I was like, you know, this seems fun, but there's not a lot of choices. Now there's a choice, and I am instantly regretting my choices of asking for choices. Because both of these options is bad. Ah, uh, sick. Try to. Uh... Mm. Okay, Willow. Think. Can't just drop a fireball on their asses. That might set the whole building on fire. And I can't just make the robbers disappear. What's that going to look like? Better to just disarm them, right? But how? What's the simplest way to disarm a bad person with a gun? Make all of the guns not have bullets in them. A plus work. Remember the Kent State shootings? Protesters putting flowers into rifles. That's it! What if I replace all their bullets with flowers? Alright, even more symbolic than my suggestion. What the hell is this? Are you real robbers, or is this some sort of flower delivery prank? We're... we're... Uh, not Damn it! Let's get out of here! Hey, Willow, what kind of flowers are those? Plumeria, I think. The same kind you get when you get laid in Hawaii. Ooh, I like Plumeria, actually. 
And not just because there's a Pokemon character with that name. What I'd give to get one. Why are you asking, Avery? You're not allergic, are you? Uh, I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. Just please get my, my. Ah, shoot. Avery! Someone call 911! Willow, it's good to see you. Sorry, I sort of almost killed you. I am glad you didn't, Dad. But you didn't need to come all the way across town. Yes, I did. You're my best friend. And Avery, I'm so sorry that... You're so sorry about what? It's my fault we went to the bank. You couldn't have known what was going to happen. Yeah, but it's... Mm. I guess that's true. I'm just sorry, okay? Apologizing for nothing? <laughs> Sounds like you're pulling into Avery. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You're going to be okay, right? Yeah. Well, probably yeah. Probably. They said I had some kind of bad reaction to the brand of epinephrine they used. Avery. It had a bad reaction to my liver. I mean, my liver had a bad... You get it. Uh, what? Your liver? Hey, it's probably nothing serious. One of the few human organs that can regenerate itself, at least. Though it's not that good at it. Don't worry about me, Willow. Just go home and get some rest. Okay. If you say so, Avery. So, your psychic gonna be alright? I'm ending this episode. I made this episode go probably longer than I should have because I didn't want to leave us in the middle of a gunfight and then I forgot that I was gonna end the episode. So... Bye-bye.